What are the negatives about the bike? I suppose it hasn't got any cup holders. That's really annoying. Yeah, cup holders would be good. Put a cup holder just there. That would be awesome. This town is coming like a ghost town. Everyone's got coronavirus. This place is looking like a ghost town. Can't go there no more. Too much sneezing up the shop front. Right, let's sync them up. Well, hello everybody! It's a beautiful sunny day here in Dudley in the UK. I think it's the 21st of March today. A nice Sunday and a rare occasion when the sun's out. It's still a bit nippy but it's beautiful. So today uh, I'm just going to pop off to the Food Stop Cafe, see who's about, and say hello to Neil. Uh, but also, I thought I'd give you my 1,000 mile review, so I'm on, well, nearly 1,000, I'm on 1,882, and when I bought it, it had one, uh, sorry, it had 985 mile on it when I bought it. So we're getting up there now. Now I didn't want to do a review when I first had it because it would have been unfair really. Um, I haven't had a bike for, as you know, over 20 years. So trying to review a Super Sport after, you know, after not riding for, for years would have been a little bit silly. So I thought I'd wait till about now and give this bike uh, what it deserves really, a good review. So. The first thing I can say is that the bike itself, uh, pretty flawless. I've had no issues with it apart from the clutch switch over the last thousand miles. So I've had a problem with the clutch switch which has been cleaned out and it is now working fine. I've put some Michelin... I think they're Michelins. Yeah, Michelin Pilot 4 tyres on the bike because um, the tyres that were on it had been on it since new so obviously they wouldn't be very good they were three years old odd and they would have been just sitting around not being used so I thought I'd change the tyres so I've done that I put some crash protection on it in case I ever drop it and some rear bobbins so I can put it on a paddock stand and what else have I done apart from leave me indicator on I think that's about it I'm trying to concentrate as well so this is quite difficult <laughs> not very good at this So the first thing I can say is that the uh, seat, the seat is very comfortable uh, for a super sport, it's a comfy seat, but it is leaned over uh, more than I thought it would be, the bike, so my seating position, I do lean over quite a lot, so oh yeah, I put some uh, tank protection on there so I can dip my knees in, uh, so I do, I do use my knees now, um, I've got used to doing that, so less weight on my wrist but it is quite leaned over which is not too bad, it hasn't caused me too much problem uh, my legs are not skirted up too far so my legs are quite comfy, you know my feet on the, on the pegs there they are adjustable so if they weren't I could mess around with the adjustments on the pegs but no need, it's quite a comfy riding position for me Right, 
the uh, so we're still talking about the ride so the suspension when I first had this the suspension was right the way up at the back so I was sort of facing towards the floor when I was sitting on the bike and it was rock solid so I think that's the <laughs> that must be the standard standard setup when it comes out the uh, the shop so I took it to a guy who's been he does performance and you know suspension setups he's been doing it for years very well known around the area and I had him set my suspension up took him about an hour for him to set up for me to go out try it and then do a few tweaks and it's <laughs> it was like a different bike when I got on it it was absolutely fantastic so it's still a little bit bouncy but I think that's normal um, but overall it's so much more comfy now he's done that so I'm really really glad I had the suspension done um, that would be my best tip for you guys if you're buying a bike go out get your suspension sorted on it right away it's one of the best things you can do when you first buy a bike still talking comfort the um, the clutch lever on on the left on my left hand there when I first had it it was quite a reach to grab it and put it in uh, but I've got to be honest I've actually got used to it I was thinking of putting some shorty levers on it but I've got used to grabbing the clutch now so I think that's fine I can adjust the the front brake and I have done so that's quite close to my hand that one's fine and all the switches, they're all in the right place. Uh, I don't seem to have any problems with the ergonomics of the bike at all. Apart from obviously more leaned over weight on my wrist than, I was, than I'm used to. Um, but apart from that, it's awesome mate, awesome. So the next thing then is performance of the bike, I'm not a performance rider and I am eternally grateful that Suzuki have put two rider modes on this, so rider mode A is full on race mode, rider mode B is more my mode, so I think rider, B, rider mode B has got about 65% power um, and the throttle response is totally different so it's just easier, a lot easier to ride around town and ride around on these you now poodle about on these little roads and get used to the bike. Uh, I'm sure I'll get into the A mode sometime in the summer when I get more used to the power. Uh, but B mode is oh, it's still fantastic. It's got some awesome mid-range grunt this bike, uh, which is why I wanted this over the 600. So yeah, I wanted the 750 because it's got more mid-range torque and you can really feel the difference. I have been on a, um, a GSX R600 when I was a kid and they're great bikes, fantastic. I think they're even better now, obviously. Uh, but the 750 for me was just, just right. It's got an electronic steering damper on it. So it helps me out when I'm going around the corners and, you know, putting the power on out of the corners there's no wobble no nothing it uh, does its job and uh, another reason why I wanted this particular bike is because there are no rider aids on it so there's no ABS there's no traction control there's no wheelie control um, it's literally just a really well-built bike, fantastic engine, great gearing, 
really really good brakes on the front and back and that's it I'm sure the next bike I get if I do get one um, I will get one with all the safety electronics on it uh, but I just wanted to experience the the old raw motorbikes like I was used to when I was a kid and it's all down to the rider not the electronics So handling then, um, I'm not really one to talk about handling, but um, for me it, it really 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 does handle well. It likes to um, get itself over in the corners, it's very very nimble and agile and it does like to dart about quite a lot. I'm still getting used to cornering on, on the bike, um, but that's not the bike, that's me, it could be any bike, I'd still have the same issues cornering. Uh, but the bike itself is phenomenal, the, the handling is absolutely sublime. So you've got that extra power in the little 600 bike frame, it's, it's awesome. mode up to about 12,000 revs I think in second it is absolutely beautiful this bike it's just perfect for me just enough power in B can't imagine going in A mode and doing that the front wheel wanted to come up then so I leaned forward a little bit to keep it down and pinned it <laughs> beautiful There's a few bikers out today, understandably, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day! See if I can remember the way, <laughs> probably not. I think that's about it really the the um, the bikes low enough for me I'm five eight and a half and I can flat foot this bike no problem at all and I can you know push it around the drive and into the shed without any bother uh, the wing mirrors are great on it I can see right now I've adjusted them they're, they're pretty good and they don't get you know my elbows don't get in the way too much and I can Pull the wing mirrors in quite easily, you just slide them in when you're done with them or when you're trying to get through a small gap, um, which is great for me because I've got a little passageway where I have to go down to the shed. And really, I mean, what else is there to say about it? I am absolutely loving this bike, it's everything I thought it would be and a hell of a lot more. 
um, it, it really 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 is I can't stress that enough I'm glad I didn't get the thousand cc because that would be just too big for me way too fast for me I'm glad I didn't get the 600 I'm glad they did a 750 so it's the perfect bike for me this if you're thinking about getting um, a big bike don't fall into the god I've got to get a litre bike trap you get the bike that you feel comfortable on and that you enjoy riding 400 doesn't matter 250 400 600 750s thousands doesn't matter you get the one for you and you'll love it a lot more than if you got something out of your comfort zone so this is a phenomenal bike I love every second ride in it so I'm just gonna shut up now and get to the cafe and see who's about Everybody's going the other way. I wonder if that means the cafe shut because we've got this coronavirus uh, which is shutting everything down in this country and around the world I think. So I wonder if there's no cafe today. We will see. There's quite a large shopping centre by my house called Merry Hill and I've heard this morning that they've closed that entirely. It's like one of the biggest shopping centres in the UK and they've completely closed it. I officially don't know where I'm going. Uh, maybe left at this one, but I'm not a hundred percent. Maybe not. Oh yeah, did Mr. Hall did say that. Hey, we found it! I got the right road! My God! <laughs> Awesome. You? <laughs> That's a bit clean, isn't it? Well, I thought it was going to be a bit later, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a scrub before we got out. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, 
it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, is it open? Yeah. Oh dear. Are we all dying of corona? Boom, where are they? Make you famous. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Don't want me to film in the front, do you? Right? Oh, no, no, okay, I'll just want to film who's here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lovely bites. Hey, it's beautiful. Of course, the best bike. Sweet. Yes, sync them up. And we're off. Nice little meet up at the CAF. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't open because of this coronavirus scare. Uh, so it was just a meet up. You can have a little ride out with Neil up to Munch Wenlock, I think. Or Munch Wenlock, one of the three. See what we can see. I'm going to get a lot of footage of Neil's bike, ain't I? <laughs> Lots of bikes around.
Well, it's nice to see the flood waters have gone down a little bit here. Yeah, it's a different different picture to what it was the other week. It was awful. That was wonderful! Wow! That felt beautiful, smooth! All the way up to the, well, nowhere near the red line I don't think. But it felt so smooth. Not a cough, not a hiccup, nothing. It just sailed up there in B mode still. It was gorgeous. I kept up with a ZX10 in B mode. I'm sure they weren't giving it the full beans though. <laughs> beautiful countryside we have over here in the UK absolutely gorgeous look at it it's just rolling hills far as the eye can see and forests hedges everywhere absolutely beautiful I love this country
bike stretched its legs. Bike's enjoying this. Lovely roads. Wenlock. Here we are. Well, much when luck, your roads are bumpy. <laughs> your drains need levelling out, and your roads are just awful. There you go. That's my review of much when luck. <laughs> That's a steep hill.
<laughs> I was going to get some nice photos, but he wants to go here. <laughs> Well, that was a great little ride out. Really, really enjoyed that. Great company, great bikes, no issues at all. Lovely scenery, lovely countryside. And we're certainly going to do this more often. This bike is phenomenal. <laughs> Find me way back home now. On the next one mate lovely ride
Well, what else can I say about this bike, guys? Apart from the look of it. I mean, look at it. It is spectacularly good looking, just like me. <laughs> I absolutely adore this bike. And I would highly recommend it. <sighs> I'm going to go see if the cafe's open. I doubt if it is. But you never know, eh? And I will see you in a bit. Well, what else can I say? An awesome bike. An awesome ride out. Um, like I say, the looks. I mean, look at it. It is spectacular. It's a beautiful bike. I love it. I would highly recommend it. I think that's about it from me. I've had a beautiful ride out. I'm gonna go back now and help the missus cook the tea. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye bye. What the hell is that doing? Okay, what is that GoPro doing? It's going nuts back here. What is it doing? It's like there's an alarm going off on it. What the hell's all that about? Well, I hope it was a GoPro anyway. Something was going nuts. Let's try again. Okay, so it wasn't the GoPro. Summit is going off on the bike. But I don't know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> I've just, I've just realised what it is. <laughs> What an idiot, what an idiot. It is my disc lock in the boots. That's what's going off. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. It is my disc lock, which I thought I'd left unset. I'm pretty sure I'd left it unset. So it wasn't the GoPro. Yes, it's this thing. Oh, that's the first time I've heard that going. And now it won't stop. Even with the key. The hell's all that about? That did last long. Wow. Nothing I can do with that. Okay. I think it's a case of wrap it up and stick it back. Not too embarrassing, is it? So my Oxford disc lock, which I've only used a couple of times, and I bought brand new, 
has decided that it wants to go off even when the key's been turned and it's totally unlocked. That's not too annoying is it? So I'm going to have to investigate that when I get home. But it's going to go off now isn't it? As soon as I move. I was going to get some petrol but not with that going off. Right so before I sign off What are the negatives about the bike? Okay, so I'm going to be perfectly honest um, I'm struggling to think of any and don't forget I haven't ridden a bike for years so everything's going to seem epic to me isn't it? But as far as a match for me this bike is pretty much a 100% match for my weight, my build my ability it's perfect I'd give it 10 out of 10 for myself and uh, if you can pick one up guys get one you won't regret it these are beautiful bikes to ride um, negatives negatives I suppose I suppose it hasn't got any cup holders that's really annoying yeah, cup holders would be good. Put a cup holder just there. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, but no, I can't really think of any negatives. I don't know what he's doing. So that's me, really. Um, great day out. Lovely bike. I don't know, really don't know what else to say, it's just sublime. I suppose the um, the looks of the bike, I didn't think I was going to get on with the front headlight, you know, the single headlight, it, look, it looks like a Batman mask, but I've got to admit, I absolutely love it now. Um, I've got no problems with it at all, I think I'm just stuck in the stone age where I recognise bikes with twin front headlights looking beautiful, but you know these are very modern bikes and it, with the single headlight it still looks superb the colour of it is sublime the, the gloss black and the matte black um, I bought that specific colour I waited seven months till I found one um, I definitely wanted a black one and I'm enjoying every minute on this bike guys I'm not kidding, I'm enjoying every minute that I spend on it. So that's it from me, um, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next Motor Vlog. See you soon guys, bye!